Hello and welcome to this Employability Skills Programme session on using how and why ladders. I'm Nick Fannan from Bright Red Triangle, which is the Enterprise Hub at Edinburgh Napier University. How and why laddering is a useful technique for breaking down a problem so that you understand the basic human needs at the root of it and then building a solution that can meet those basic needs. I'm going to explain how it works using the example of driverless cars. This is an example where we have a technology which exists and has been proven to work. Autonomous cars are legal to use in various places around the globe, but it would be fair to say that they have yet to be adopted as an option by the majority of people. Let's start with a why ladder. Why laddering allows us to dissect the problem to arrive at the fundamental human need. Here we start with a need statement and we ask, why do consumers mistrust autonomous vehicle technology? The answer is because they think they are unsafe. We can then reframe that statement with another why question. Why do they feel they are unsafe? The answer is because they feel a lack of control. We we'll ladder again. Why do people want control? Well, it provides them with a feeling of safety. And why do people need to feel safe? Well, that's a basic survival instinct. And there we have it. We've got to the root of the problem, the evolutionary need for safety. As a general rule, asking why yields more abstract statements in response, while asking how yields specific statements. Often abstract statements are more meaningful, but not as directly actionable. And the opposite is true of more specific statements. That is why you ask why often during interviews with your stakeholders, in order to get more meaningful feelings in response rather than specific likes or dislikes or surface layer answers. Let's have a look at how ladders. Here, by asking how we might achieve something, uh, we can climb the ladder to figure out exactly what it is that we need to do in order to address the fundamental human need. How do people avoid feeling the need to be in control when the situation is not their responsibility? How can we create a situation where the use of autonomous vehicle technology is not someone's own responsibility? By shifting responsibility to another entity. How can we shift responsibility to another entity? by taking away ownership? And how can we take away ownership while still using the vehicle? Well, by making it an Uber-like service, perhaps. There we have it. We've figured out uh, how to address the fundamental human need and to build an idea that can meet the need. You can use these tools to figure out the needs of your user. There will often be multiple answers to your whys and hows. Write them all down. The results, after some editing and refining, should give you a needs hierarchy that paints a fuller picture of your user or composite user. Thank you.